Hello everyone. Well, in this module we are talking about the role of the data scientist as it relates to um, the business stakeholders. So we're going to talk a little bit about stakeholders and how to help our key stakeholders um, because it, when you guys graduate and get out there and you're working in the field and you're working as data scientists or you're working on data science teams, you're going to need to work with business uh, stakeholders and business leaders who have data challenges, data problems, data opportunities, and they're going to look to you for their for assistance. Um, but that's not enough because it's kind of a two-way street. They'll look to you for assistance, but they will probably, in most cases, provide you with insufficient information to actually help you solve the problem. So it's going to be your job to sort of interview or interrogate your stakeholders to make sure you have all of the information that you need, to make sure you have all of the data that you need, and to make sure you fully understand what the priorities are for the stakeholders and what the stakeholders are going to need to do. So I'm going to run through a quick presentation here that talks a little bit about how do we assess stakeholder needs on a particular project, and then I'm going to give you an example. Pay attention to the end of the presentation, because at the end of the presentation, I give you your assignment for the week. Okay, the data scientist's job. So our data, as a data scientist, what we're going to do is we're going to work with stakeholders. And the stakeholders are going to be, like I said, the business leaders or the organization's leaders who've identified either a problem um, or they've identified an opportunity where there's a, a chance to use data to actually um, enhance business operations. So your job is going to be to work with your stakeholders to fully understand that problem and or that opportunity and the many aspects that will influence it. A key hallmark of a data scientist's job is not that ju that just that they understand data, but that they also understand the operations of the business. So that will be your job to sort of make sure you understand what your stakeholder is after. You will then help um, the stakeholder develop a solution and implement that solution and then be able to communicate the results of that solution. So steps in understanding users' needs. First of all, who is your key stakeholder? Is it a business leader? Is it a team leader? Is it an organization leader? Um, understand kind of what their position in the organization is and then what are their priorities and what is it that they care about. Um, make sure you get a clear description of the data opportunity or the data problem that your stakeholder is facing. Um, and dig deep and figure out, you know, what's really behind this. If it's a problem, what is the root cause of the problem? Oftentimes what we see with problems in organizations is that we see symptoms. And when we try to solve symptoms, we don't solve the underlying problem. All we do is solve the symptoms, and then the underlying problem is free to crop up somewhere else. So get to the, the bottom of, you know, what's really going on. If they're losing customers, or if they're losing sales, or if the data are showing that there's something wrong with the operations of the organization. Um, it may just be showing a symptom, so be careful about that. Find out who's being impacted or who will be impacted by your work um, and who needs to be involved. Um, but importantly, what does success look like? You know, if our data, the data that we have is showing that we have customer loss, um, is it that we no longer show customer loss? Um, and does that mean that we really are actually not losing customers? So what is the metric that looks, you know, that looks like uh, a solution to whatever problem or a capitalization on an opportunity. And then close the loop. Once you implement something, um, you're going to want to come back and make sure that what you implemented actually uh, solved the problem that the, that the stakeholder had. All right, let's go back to the key stakeholder. Your key stakeholder is the primary person who's brought you this opportunity. They've come to you and they've said, we have a uh, an, an issue um, and I'm generating all this data and I don't know what the data mean or I don't know what the data are telling me, I don't know how I can solve this problem. So they they would come to you as a data scientist, they would come to you and say, I need your help. Um, I need your help to sort of help me figure out what's going on here. Your job is going to be to figure out, okay, how important is this project to this stakeholder? Um, is this something like, eh, it'd be nice to know if someday we could figure out what this data mean. Um, but it probably is more than that. And if it is, find out what that is. Um, find out, you know, the level of importance um, and then step back and make sure you understand in the larger picture of the organization what this project is about. Um, if it's a simple project like maybe you've got trying to schedule employees for a phone bank and that's a fairly easy problem but its solution is fairly important because it could save the organization a lot of money um, and it could also make sure that your you know your phones are always kept covered. Um, so that one's pretty easy um, but but again identify how it fits in the larger picture. And that's what you'd want to do with all of the data projects. 
then get a better idea of the problem or the opportunity. How is the problem presenting itself? Again, if you've seen customer drops or a drop in sales. So over the last four quarters, we've seen 5% drops in sales. Let's go back and look at the customer records and find out what's going on. So the problem that's presenting itself in that example that I just gave you is a drop in sales. But again, that could be a symptom of a bigger problem or a different problem. Maybe we've got distribution problems and we can't get product to the market. Um, and that's what's causing the drop in sales. So really dig in and find out kind of what is, what is the problem that, um, that is presenting itself and how does it look? And then what do we need to learn more about it? Um, typically, and this is something that you'll learn as you go, um, but a data scientist will be uh, presented with a problem and then he or she will go and dig into the data, um, maybe run some of the techniques that we've run in the data mining class and present a, you know, an analysis of the problem to the stakeholder. That will it, it almost immediately launch the stakeholder into asking a whole bunch more questions. Okay, here's what you've told me so far. What can you tell me about this? Or this data looks very interesting. What about this? So really looking at a problem or looking at an opportunity as a data scientist um, is becomes a very cyclical and iterative process until you get to a point where you've actually answered, fully answered the, the questions, not only the initial question, but the questions that come up after the first one has, uh, has been answered. I talked a bit already about root cause analysis, and that is make sure that you're addressing the root of the problem. Again, in my example, if we are seeing a de you know, decline in sales, um, what are the factors that are leaning or uh, contributing to that decline in sales? Um, what are the things that are making that decline in sales really happen? Is it really truly a decline in sales and that's the issue? Or, or do we have a marketing issue? Do we have an advertising issue? Do we have a distribution issue? W what's really going on here? Um, I, again, solving the symptom is not solving the problem. And, uh, and data exploration, like I kind of the examples that I've given you, um, it could be a, a process of root cause discovery. So we may pull a data set and we may look and we may find something really interesting in the data set that is telling us something about our drop in sales that can send us on a completely different direction. And we might pull different data and we might look at it in a different way. So just be open to, you know, working with your stakeholders to sort of find out what are the data telling us right now and what are they likely to tell us if we look at it, at it in a different way or in a different direction. Oftentimes we have a problem or an opportunity and business problems and business opportunities are very often linked. Um, we might find ourselves having an opportunity. We, we're going after a new market and we're going after a new market because there's some indicators that let us know that we're going to be, we have a reason to expect success in that market. Um, but that often might have been preceded by a problem. And that could be that there's a drop in our traditional markets, a drop in sales in our traditional markets. And so we're going to have to pursue new markets. Um, so we, in, in order to really fully understand an opportunity, an opportunity we might want to pursue that is a data-driven opportunity, we might also have to take a look at some of the problems that led us to that. Um, and there might be a reason for us to actually pull data and look at some of those problems, analyze some of those problems, for the very reason that a data opportunity, one where we would potentially pursue a new market, could fail if we don't look at what were the problems that led us to pursue that in the first place. Um, here's a good example from our past uh, class in data mining. We had the personal loan exercise that we used logistic regression with. And when we used logistic regression, what we wanted to try to do is look at of the 5,000 people that we sent offers for personal loans to, only a very small number of those actually took us up on the opportunity. There's the problem, right? There's a problem that we're wasting a lot of money and marketing dollars and printing and all this other stuff, postage. And so that's the problem. What now that becomes an opportunity is the opportunity to pursue a specific market because logistic regression allows us to sort of weed out the vast majority of the customers, most of whom didn't respond, and now we're able to actually capitalize on that opportunity and expand into a different market. So you can see that we had a problem first. The problem led us to an opportunity. The opportunity was made present through the use of the data mining technique, and now we're able to actually be more precise about what we're doing. So again, I'm just trying to reiterate that problems and opportunities kind of go hand in hand, and data can be used to address both. Okay, once you decide that you've got possible pathway forward with a data opportunity or a data problem, who needs to be involved? Um, 
remember you're going to be working probably with a stakeholder or a primary group of stakeholders, a group of primary stakeholders. Um, but then if you implement a solution, this solution could impact many people. And a good example could be, um, you know, your agent scheduling protocols that you're using to make sure that your phones are always covered. That's going to impact all of the agents who work there because it's going to change their schedules or, or, or in some way impact their schedules. So you need to be broad in your assessment of who is going to be impacted by your solution um, and make sure that your solution uh, can be adopted. This really actually falls down to the primary stakeholder. So it's not going to be really something that you have to worry about that much. Um, but the primary stakeholder needs to make sure that the data um, solution or that the, the solution that is data driven is actually something that people can adopt. All right, and finally, what does success look like? Um, we talked about this a little bit earlier, but success looks to your stakeholder like the solution to a problem or something that is a great opportunity for them to be able to pursue. Um, but you'll need specifics about that. You know, how does it how does it look if this problem has been solved? And how does it look to the stakeholder um, in the stakeholder's language? It looks different to us because we might be able to do a great job with linear regression or multiple variable regression and come up with this great model. Um, but what does that really mean to your stakeholder? And so make sure you understand um, how that success appears in his or her terms. Of course, once we have a model or once we have a solution, we're going to implement it. Um, we'll first test it, of course, and we we'll want to make sure that it works. But that's all part of our job, right? So we get a data set, we work with it, we may create a training set and a validation set, we may build a model, we may work very hard to sort of reduce the amount of error that is in our model. Um, but then we're going to want to work with our stakeholder to implement it um, and you know come up with ways to make sure that it's actually realistically producing data that can be useful. And lastly, did we solve the problem? Closing the loop. So, you know, this all started when the data, when the, sorry, the stakeholder came to us and said, hey, we have a problem, we think, maybe with sales or maybe with scheduling or something like that. We have some data here. We're going to ask your help on this. Can you take a look at the data and tell us what they mean and what they're telling us? Um, so you craft, you know, you do your analysis and you craft a solution and you come back to your stakeholder, your stakeholder implements it check back and make sure that it actually is working and make sure that it's actually solving the problem and making sure that you're able to make sure that your stakeholders able to actually use the work that you produced okay so we have a an assignment and this is going to be kind of a strange assignment because I'm not giving you very much information on it but I want you to um, to think about your role as a stakeholder I'm sorry your role as a data scientist I'm going to be your stakeholder so I'm coming to you and I'm saying, you know, Mr. D Mr. or Ms. Data Scientist, I need your help. Last quarter, my university had 280 course students that dropped their courses. Um, it's a small university, so that was a big impact. And that's 280 students that got their money back. And that resulted in a you know reduction in revenues of $350,000. That's a big deal for a small university that is, you know, scraping by on a shoestring. So... It also caused us to miss our enrollment targets, uh, our revenue targets, by two hundred thousand dollars. So the president of the university wants to know why there were so many drops. Why did why did so many people, two hundred eighty people, drop their classes? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide you with a file. I'm not really going to provide you with a file, but let's just assume that I'm going to provide you with a file that had three thousand enrollments. It's just three thousand enrollments, and it tells you pretty much everybody who enrolled and everybody who enrolled and then dropped, um, and that's. That's the data set I'm going to give you. So that's all the information I'm going to give you as, as the stakeholder. Here is an example of the file. So what we have is we have the student name, and then we have that student's ID number. We have the class number that the student registered for, and the class name. And then we have the date that they enrolled, and I'm looking at all these from fall quarter of last year. So they're all around the September time frame. And then the date of drop. Now, if there's no date of drop, um, that means that the student didn't drop the class. But if there's a data drop, then it means the student did drop the class. So you're going to get through, you would assume that your stakeholder, me, is going to give you a record or a file of 3,000 records that look like this. And that's all the, that's all I'm giving you. Um, so that'll be your example. All right, here's your assignment. I've told you what your data file contains. Now your assignment is to write a two to three page paper just give me your initial thoughts on how you might interact with the stakeholder. How would you interact with me? Okay, what questions would you ask me? Um, do you have enough data to solve this problem? Um, 
what is your stakeholder looking for? What, what, what things do you think I'm looking for? What do you think success looks like to me? And what conditions can you see with this data or project? Or, I'm sorry, complications can you see with this data project? And what would be your strategy for addressing this? So I just want your initial thoughts. Um, and if you'll just give me you know, a couple of pages of this is what I would do, this is how I would interview the stakeholders, this is how I would look for additional information, this is how I would try to get a better, broader view of this problem. The other thing I will, I didn't put it on the slide, but the other thing I will invite you to do is to think about what kind of root cause analysis, right? We had 280 drops out of 3,000 enrollments, so that's about 10%. So why did 10% of the students drop their classes? Is it just that they're not interested in their classes, or is there something else going on? And what kind of data might we want to think about when we're thinking about pulling information that would allow us to dig a little deeper and find out a little bit more about this? Okay, that is your assignment for the week. Um, let me know if you have any questions.